to 2K Sports for the latest presentation of our NBA basketball. Along with Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. Wow, the fans making a lot of noise here inside the arena. The Sacramento Kings are getting settled in. And now the opening lineup for Detroit. Jonas Valanciunas is out there with Monroe. Then there's Jennings. Then there's Dunleavy. And it's a Flalo in at the shooting guard. Detroit on D. Walker with it. On the wing, Green. Five to shoot. Fires from 18. The shot is good off the backboard. Here's Jennings. You would think that a team like the Pistons, far too struggled as they did, would have trouble with teams out west, but they really held their own. You know, that was surprising. They weren't exactly taking the conference by storm, but they definitely um, were able to knock off a few of the powerhouses out there. And it's out of bounds to the Pistons as Detroit retains possession. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Clock at four. And he hits the jump shot. So it's Sacramento now. And Walker kicks to Cousins. Back to Walker. Cousins dishes to Walker. Pass to Cousins. It's tipped. It's stolen by Valanciunas. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Pistons will retain possession. Yeah, so close to picking that pass off, guys. At least he got a hand on it. He did what he needed to do to make sure it didn't hit the target. Now here's a Flalo. A Flalo right side. It's back to Jennings. Just five to shoot. A step back shot here. Hits the front of the rim and out. And it is very dangerous to leave him open like that. Lucky break for the defense that he missed it. Dishes it to Cousins. Puts it up from 15. The Pistons have gone 2 or 3 here to start out the game. Jennings passes to Dunleavy. He's looking for Monroe and finds him. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Well, the Pistons' acquisition of Josh Smith last season put Greg Monroe in a tight spot. Both players, natural power forwards. Neither one of them floor spacers, so it really was not a good fit, and that showed in the Pistons' record. Now here's Walker. The drive by Cousins. Boom, he jams it straight down. You know, he can be a little awkward with the ball sometimes when it's in his hands, but not that time. Why do you think it is we don't see more of those out of him, Steve? I don't know. I mean, he's certainly got the size. He just lacks the confidence, I think, sometimes near the basket. Jennings kicks to a follow. Detroit, no good that time either. And despite playing in one of the league's most dysfunctional offenses, Greg Monroe remained effective as a scorer, I thought, last season. Yeah, I agree with you, Kevin. A slight downtick in his numbers, but not surprising given the circumstances you just highlighted. This guy's got a nice mid-range game and does a good job on the offensive glass, too. The drive by Jennings, and that one's good. Well, he wasn't phased at all by the bigger man on him, and on the low block, I thought he might be. You know, Steve, I thought maybe he'd prefer to bring him out to the perimeter, but whatever works, go to it. Now here's Walker. Cousins dishes to Walker. Goes up on the high post. That's good. Walker's got his second bucket. The Vestons have gone three of five, shooting the ball so far. In low to Monroe. Well, Greg Monroe, good size and skill at the power forward position. Loves to operate from the high post where he can make plays for others or attack off the dribble. 
He's gone two for two at the line so far. And Monroe is an elusive left-hander. He's great at driving and getting to the basket. Uh, not really an elite athlete, but, well, I tell you, with his size and ball handling ability, he's more than capable. Here's Cousins. 13 feet away. Cousins with another miss. Monroe sets a screen for Jennings. Monroe outside. Inside. And Dallin Junis kicks to Dunleavy. Second chance shot. And again, it's the Pistons missing. The Kings trail by four. McLemore, the pass to Walker. Feeds to Mba Amuja. He kicks to McLemore. Here's Cousins. Goes to the reverse layup and pops it in. And Monroe developing his mid-range jump shot, Steve, to complete his face-up arsenal. Well, he's made strides. I mean, it, it's a little concerning to see his free throw percentage falling over the last two seasons, but you know that jump shot is key to keeping his driving lanes open. And that's out of bounds. Detroit will retain possession. A follow outside. Six to shoot. Takes a three. Here's Valanciunas. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. And Walker kicks to McLemore. They get a hand on it. Here's Cousins. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. Terrific play right there. Great strength to finish through the hit. That's how you do it. The bump and the bucket. And the Pistons making a change here. Hollins has checked in. Landry comes in for Craig Monroe. Porter's checked in for Dunley. And Jordan Crawford is subbed in for Aaron Aflalo. The Kings have gone 5 of 8 from the field, shooting over 62%. And Abamute kicks to Walker. Doubled by Crawford. Walker dishes to Mba Amute. The 17-footer. Walker's shot is off. Well, the shot was there for him, and he had to take it. I don't care if he didn't convert. He's got to take that every time. Jennings passes to Crawford. Crawford right side. Well, Jordan Crawford last season, starting at point guard for the Celtics to begin the year, he ended up in a trade as a reserve combo, Steve, with the Warriors. Well, it was a good fit with Golden State. And, you know, I think in Boston, what Crawford showed was that he had more playmaking ability than people realized. And ideally, he is a combo guard who can come in and, and really light it up off the bench. So the Kings called timeout their first. Well, he's got to get everybody on the same page. I mean, that's the reason for this timeout. And if that happens, I think they can improve and start playing better. You know, it's a coach's job to always try to be two or three steps ahead of the opponent and to look for that extra edge if you can. And I think he feels like he might have seen one. And the Kings will go for a different look here. Kevin Serafin, he's checked in for Cousins. Lee comes in for Tremont Green. Johnson, he's checked in for Mbamuta. And it's Matthew Delavidova in for Walker. And the Pistons making a change here as well. DJ Augustine's checked in for Brandon Jennings. Delavidova kicks to Lee. Shoots it up. And the shot falls short this time. And Jordan Crawford in the past was certainly seen as a scoring combo guard, but he'd struggled to score efficiently. Focusing on his playmaking might enable him to still contribute even when his shot's not falling. And he gets the bucket. Landry's got his first points in this one. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. 
picked by Lee. Pass to McLemore. It's blocked. Rebounding is going to be the focal point for them in this one, fellas. I can feel it. Yeah, it's a physical game, and so far the numbers show that they've got the edge on the glass. Crawford kicks to Landry. The fader. That is good. Now it's a five-point piston lead. Well, he could have earned some style points there, but he really doesn't need to use the fadeaway when he's that wide open. Elabadova dishes to Johnson. Elabadova, the pass to McLemore. Rebound, Detroit. Crawford outside. Out to the right wing. The feet to Augustine. Back to Crawford. The dish to Landry. And shot on the way. Shot is no good. Good D by Lee. Here's Della Vido. Guarded by Augustine. Johnson outside. Lee sets a screen for Johnson. Nailed from three-point land. They really can't allow him too many open looks like that. I mean, that's just inviting trouble. And Augustine kicks to Crawford. He dishes it to Augustine. And the wing jumper off line. Kings have gone 6 of 13 for the field, just under the 50% mark. Here's Della Vidal, started by Augustine. The Kings need to get off a shot here. A shot by Johnson, no good. Well, that's clearly a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look at. Well, true. The defenders shouldn't relax just because he missed that one. He's capable of getting hot in a hurry. D there, guys, was pretty much non-existent. I mean, you can't leave a good shooter like that open. Out left to the wing. Lee in the post. He's covered by Landry. And the whistle blows as the basket counts in a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. Boy, just battled through that initial impact and somehow willed it in. Excellent concentration. That's what you like to see. Hollins dishes to Augustine. Pass to Porter. All sorts of time. The basket is good. The assist from Augustine. Boy, he's looked great so far. Offensively, looks like he's brought his A game. The Kings didn't have a lot of things go right for them last season, but one thing that did go well for them was how tough they played at home, and that's something you can build on. Here's Crawford. The Kings getting the button. And that's out of bounds. Detroit will retain possession. One oh six left to play in the first. From past the arc, another three for Detroit. Looked like there was a little confusion there as to who was supposed to be guarding him. Here's Delavido. He feeds it to Lee. Into Johnson. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Johnson's got five. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Yeah, that's five of their last six baskets inside the lane. They have really established themselves inside. Picked off in midair. And finish off by McLemore. Here he comes, and there he goes. Look at him punish that rack. You know, the guys on the bench are going crazy right now at the sight of that jam. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Now here is Augustine. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Clock at six. 
The Pistons need to get off a shot here. Now it's been a tight one so far as we get the second quarter going back here. And guys, looking at what you've seen so far from the Pistons, what do you think? And I thought they built this lead mainly because of their work on the glass. They really dominated the rebounding totals. And it takes an effort from all five guys to get a rebounding advantage like that. Everybody has to rebound the ball. That's how you finish off your defense. On the floor for Detroit, they've got Carl Landry, E.J. Augustine out there with Jordan Crawford. Then there's Jonas Valanciunas, and it's Porter in the three spot. The Pistons leading. Landrius, Grina, and Bob Muto. Landry with a screen for Augustine. Soft touch off the glass. Augustine's got the first basket of the second quarter for the Pistons. Now let's go to Doris Burke. Doris. Well, guys, David Lee is one of the more skilled power forwards in the NBA. He credits his skill level in part to growing late. He said, I wasn't always the biggest guy growing up. I was actually a point guard my freshman year of high school. I played some wing and some at guard. Kevin, he kept those skills as he grew. One of the best passing big men in the game, Doris. Thank you. Here's Delavid Oak following the three by Detroit. Kicks it to Lee. Fires from 14. Lee with another miss. Augustine passes to Landry. To the wing on the left. Nice ball movement by Detroit. Crawford kicks to Landry. Augustine up top. Crawford, no one around him. His three-pointers off the mark. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Sure could, Kev. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. Johnson attacking to the left side wing. Elevadova dishes to Johnson. Top of the key jumper, no good. Wes Johnson, the former number four pick back in 2010. He was a bust in Minnesota, but he shot better in his fourth season. And once he was moved to kind of a small four, like the shooting power forward spot, uh, he really found a niche for himself. Stolen by oh, 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 ridiculous. Tore it down that time. <laughs> I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair. In a close game, the important thing is the two points, not the dramatic. Oh, come on, Clark. He had to go for it, didn't he? <laughs> I'm, with, I'm with you, Kevin. You can't fault him for that. I mean, just let him go. Who cares? And that one's good. Augustine's got five now. What a terrific job to get the release perfect that time. I thought it might get blocked or deflected, but nice stroke. Even with giving up a lot of size in that matchup, still able to get off a nice long-range shot there. And an intentional foul right there. I have no idea why he was fouling there. And even the foul, I mean, you can't be wrapping guys up like that. I mean, it, it just doesn't make any sense. That's a meaningless play. Out of bounds, Pistons ball as Detroit keeps possession. And the Pistons decide to take their first timeout right here. The Kings, one of the youngest teams in the league. They're trying to build through the draft, but with mixed results over the last couple of seasons, Marcus Cousins, the only player who's truly distinguished himself as a significant building block. Big group substitution here for Sacramento. DeMarcus Cousins, he's checked in for Kevin Serafin. Green comes in for Lee. Jones checked in for Mba Amuta. And Walker subbed in for Wesley Johnson. And a different look here for the Pistons. Greg Monroe, he's checked in for Landry. Dunleavy comes in for Otto Porter Jr. 
Aaron Oflalo. He's checked in for Jordan Crawford. And it's Jennings in for Augustine. And the Kings, Clark, over the last five years, drafting in that five to seven range, they took Cousins, traded down, remember, for Jimmer for dead, yep. and then Thomas Robinson out of Kansas, another Jayhawk in 13, Ben McLemore. Yeah, McLemore struggled a bit in his rookie season. Aside from Cousins, not the difference makers you, you'd hope for to this point. We'll see if this year's any different point. And so Walker nails both of them. Kemba Walker, quick, got a great handle on the ball. He's a blur in transition. And what I like about him, he's always looking to push the tempo for easy baskets, and he's tough, not afraid of, of the moment. Jennings kicks to a follow. Four on the clock. Jennings with the bucket. The entire defense was frozen foot. Nobody picked up the shooter, Kevin. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. And Walker tough to stay in front of, but yet Clark, he's become a great finisher around the rim. Well, you know, you have to be able to do that at his size. He's listed at 6'1", which I think is really generous. He's more 5'10", 5'11", and he understands that's an area that he has to continue to expand and add to the, uh, the potent offensive player he's capable of being. Catching up on the changes for Sacramento. And Baamute comes in for James Jones. And it's Ben McLemore in for Matthew Delavid over. It's stolen by Valanciunas. Al Dunleavy looking for his first basket still in this one. Now the pass to a flower. From past the arc, Sacramento grabs the miss. Green's got four rebounds in this game. Passes it to Walker. It's good, and the Pearson lead is cut down to seven on the bucket from Cousins. The number of points they've scored in the paint already today is pretty eye-opening, Steve. No, it's off the charts. It really is. And defensively, I mean, they have to start shutting down some of those lanes to the hoop. Now here's Jennings. He has six. Dunleavy kicks to Valanciunas. And stolen by Cousins. Now here's McLemore. He's guarded by a follow. Good ball movement here by the Kings. And a Bahamute kicks to McLemore. Shot clock at five. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. And the defense looking to protect the rim at all costs. Yeah, I like that. A foul to save the layup. Make him earn it at the line. Well, Ben McLemore seen as perhaps a steal when the Kings selected him seventh overall in last year's draft. But his rookie season was a colossal disappointment. Defensively and offensively, he really struggled to contribute. John Levy kicks to Monroe. And he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. Well, now they're just going to town on him. Yeah, you think these defenders would have done a little more to put a stop to that stuff, Kevin, but so far, no go. Well, a phenomenal aerial assault there, fellas. Walker goes in. Got him with the pump fake, but couldn't finish. And McLemore, an excellent shooter in one season that he had at Kansas. And you combine that with his athleticism, Kevin, and he's got tremendous upside. That's why he was so highly regarded as a prospect. You know, when the size advantage is that pronounced, I mean, that's exactly what you should do offensively in this situation. Take it strong to the middle. No good from Cousins. I think the lead they built here, guys, is in large part due to what they've done on the boards. Absolutely. I mean, they have a plus 10 advantage in rebounds, and they've been in total control of the backboard. Here's Walker, and there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. Hitting your free throws is a good way to get back into it. It stops the clock and extends the game. I mean, you want to take advantage of that situation. And they're shooting much better from the line here in the second quarter. So far, they haven't missed one. 
the Pistons making a change here. Hollins has checked in. A follow outside. Out of bounds. Sacramento will take possession. I'll tell you what, that's just a major unforced error right there, guys. My goodness. Walker the pass to Cousins. Defensive Mike foul. Dunleavy is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. Now here's Cousins. Defense right on him. Hit his foot. And they're saying he kicked the ball. On defense, the Pistons. They lead by their biggest margin of the game. Nine. You know, his shooting percentage is falling off here in the second. He just can't get the ball in the basket. He's really struggling. And a follow wide open. He shoots. A follow with another miss. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. No good from Cousins. So hard not to go for it when you see a chance for an alley-oop like there was there. I know he wishes he hadn't. This is to Hollins. Shot left block. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. That's good. That's now eight points for Ben McLemore. Boy, he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the defense. Jennings drives in. And it's Monroe finishing it off. How about that? Breaking out the Statue of Liberty on that dunk. A nice way to pad that lead a little more. Yeah, you got that right. Now, here's Green. And the shot is good. That's 10 points here for Cousins. You know, down there in the low post is where you really want to create a lot of your offense. Jennings dishes to Dunley. On the wing of Flello. Lock at six. The baseline J. And that one goes long. Poor shooting from him this quarter. His shooting percentage nowhere near where he'd like it to be. And Walker kicks to McLemore. He's looking for Cousins and finds him. The kick out to Walker. A three ball. Out of bounds. Detroit takes possession. Well, it's been a while since Motor City has seen the playoffs on the basketball court. And it just appears as though they've been stuck in neutral the last few seasons. Looking at who's out there now for the Pistons. Carl Landry's checked in for Monroe. Porter comes in for Dunley. And DJ Augustine subbed in for Brandon Jennings. A time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. And some changes here for the Kings. Kevin Serafin is checked in for Cousins. James Jones comes in for Mba Amuta. And it's Matthew Delavidova in for Kemba Walker. Augustine passes to a follow. Feeds it to Augustine. Porter with it. Jones covering. Landry gets the bucket. With Detroit, as you said, having made the playoffs since 2009. And Steve, over the last few years, just stuck near the bottom. And they've been, you know, kind of a treadmill team. Good enough to not be dead last, but not bad enough to get a really high pick. And they tried to change it via free agency. So we'll see how it goes. Offensive rebound. Pass to McLemore. Some nice ball movement here by the Kings. Here's Della Vidova. Here's Green. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Draymond Green was the 35th pick back in 2012, and he's made an impact thus far with his defense, rebounding, and great IQ for the game. And I like his competitive spirit, too. 
he helps you win in a lot of ways. And Green, more of an offensive player at Michigan State. I think he's still adjusting to the added distance on the NBA three-point arc, but shot it really well in the playoffs last year. So just getting better and better every year. And Sacramento has possession following the three by Detroit. Jones dishes to Delavido. He kicks to Green. Porter with the steal. Now Detroit moving it up. And he gets it to go. And it's a 12-point Piston lead. He's really starting to ramp it up now, getting involved in the offense here after being held without a point in the first. Here's Delavido, guarded by Augustine. There's the feed to Jones. Fires for three. And the shot is good. Jones has got his first three points of the game. Talk about doing a Rip Van Winkle on defense. Come on, guys, wake up. Why are they leaving him open at the three-point line? Come on. Landry gets the bucket. Landry's got four points this quarter. They've done a lot of good work with the ball, really moving both the, the ball and moving bodies, getting quality chances at the hoop. And they're not wasting chances when they get them. I mean, they're hitting. And so we wrap up the first half. It's Detroit up 11. We've got more in store for you right after this. Welcome back, everybody. Third quarter just about to get going here in what has been so far a runaway game. A good quarter for Augustine. He's got 10 points, and he's picked up six points from behind the arc. Now, his outside stroke has looked really good today. And as we begin the second half, first half wasn't even close, guys, and we'll see if there is a comeback on our hands or more of the same as we get the third quarter started. You gotta like what DJ Augustine has done in this game. Yeah, he played a very mature first half offensively, just finding gaps and making good decisions, getting into the defense and knocking down shots. Well, the way he played that first half, that's exactly what we're talking about when we say offensive efficiency. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. On the court for Sacramento. Kemba Walker is up there with Johnson. Then there's DeMarcus Cousins. And it's Green. And it's Mba Amute in the three slot. Jonas Valanciunas bulked up going into last season and tore up the NBA Summer League. Big things expected, but he sort of plateaued a bit in year two, but I still think the future's bright for him. Cousins, no one around him. Offline with the baseline jumper. And that'll increase their rebound advantage. They've definitely been winning that battle on the boards. Well, the main thing is they haven't allowed many second chance opportunities. That is always going to allow you to maintain your lead. A high post shot. And he gets it to go. Eight points for Kemba Walker. Pistons leading by 11. Jennings kicks to Crawford. In the corner, it's Dunleavy. No good off the back of the rim. Sacramento's gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. And Walker kicks to Johnson. His three-pointer is off the mark. Detroit's gone five of ten from downtown tonight. Fifty percent exactly. Jennings passes to Valanciunas. The shot's good on the assist by Jennings. Alan Junis has got eight. You know, when he's in that tight with that kind of height advantage over the defender, that's going to be a pretty easy play for him. Timeout called by the Kings. Brandon Jennings, you remember, decided to play a year in Italy right out of high school rather than to go to college. He was the first guy to do that once the NBA implemented that uh, one year out of high school requirement for the draft.
Lee's checked in for DeMarcus Cousins. David Lee. The Kings trail by 13. And for Brandon Jennings, he didn't play a whole lot while in Rome, but he stayed busy practicing and developing. Yeah, and it didn't seem to diminish his stock that much, Kevin. You know, you go back to when he was drafted. He was the 10th pick by the Bucks back in 08. Walker. And blocked. Out of bounds. Detroit takes possession. Pistons leading by 13. And here's Jennings. He has six. There's the dish to Crawford. It's back to Jennings. Five on the clock. It's deflected. Lee with the steal. And there's Johnson. That's good. On the assist from Green. And that's now nine points for Johnson. The Pistons have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Outside Jennings. He dishes it to Dunley. In the corner, it's Crawford. Misses the three. The Kings trail by 11. And Abamute kicks to Johnson. Goes up the baseline. Here's Lee. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. And the call will be against David Lee. That's his first foul. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Outside Jennings. Here's Dunleavy. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Mike Dunleavy, the former number three overall pick out of Duke, uh, Steve, back in 2002. Yeah, he played on that Duke team uh, back in 2001 that won the NCAA championship, played alongside Williams and Boozer. You know, never really became a star, but a quality player over his 12-year NBA career. Lee outside. Back to Walker. Pass to Johnson. Another miss by Johnson. And the defense did just enough to throw him off that shot. Jennings kicks to Crawford. He feeds it to Dallin Jones. It's out of bounds. The Pistons able to retain possession here. D.J. Augustine's checked in for Brandon Jennings. DJ Augustine. Augustine dishes to Monroe. And he gets the bucket. Monroe's got four points in the quarter. He has really shot the ball extremely well, as you'd expect. Like we say, he's been making sweet string music all day long. That's good. I'll tell you what, he's made more than a few of those in his career. Pistons leading by 12. Monroe with a screen on Johnson. Kicks it to Augustine. And the best to Dunleavy. This is to Dallin Jones. Out of bounds, Sacramento takes possession. Well, I think that pass caught him off guard, but he showed us board hands, too. The Kings have gone to somewhat so far, 4 of 10, on their shots in the second half so far. And Walker kicks to Lee. But looking at David Lee, you know, guys, uh, the one thing that really stands out about him, and there's a lot, but a very well-rounded offensive game. Well, he's so mobile. He's an ambidextrous finisher around the rim. Uh, he can step out and hit that mid-range jumper. You know, the ability to use both hands kind of reminds me of you, Kevin, how you sometimes hold the mic in your left hand, mm -hmm. sometimes with the right. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you noticed. Yeah, he, he, one thing about Steve, he is observant. You know that. He doesn't miss much. Here's Valanciunas. Good D by Lee. I like the work there, contesting that shot that looked like it was going to be easy, but they forced the miss. You know what? He got it in close, but couldn't finish in traffic. 
Reverses. And it's blocked. Crawford drives in. And he commits the intentional foul. And David Lee is great playing off the ball in the pick and roll. He really is one of the, the very best at that particular skill. He can put it on the deck, handles it in many ways like a guard in six, seven dribble situations. And with his passion, he can punish the defense for trying to help and double team him. Augustine with it. Ten points for him. Shot clock at three. For three, Dunleavy. That's in Augustine with the assist. Augustine's got four assists in the game. And you talk about Lee's versatility. You can score with his back to the basket or facing up. A real triple threat from the high post. Walker the pass to Lee. Detroit with the rebound. Alan Junis has got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. More often than not today, those shots have not dropped for him. Johnson goes in. Outside, Green. Johnson outside. Sacramento moving it around. Johnson right side. The kick out to Walker. And once again, off the mark by Sacramento. Pistons leading by 13. Augustine dishes to Crawford. Pass to Dunleavy. And Augustine kicks to Dunleavy. Green with the rebound. Green's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. He's just been ice cold. I mean, he, he cannot find the range. Timeout called by the Kings. Draymond Green last season slimmed down to about 230 pounds. Pretty remarkable how he's transformed his body since his freshman season in Michigan State. A platoon swap here for Sacramento. Detroit also making some changes. Collins is checked in, and it's Otto Porter Jr. in for Dunleavy. Inexcusable mistake for a, a team that's trying to get back into the game. Yeah, I have no clue what he was thinking about there. As a matter of fact, he may have had his brain in neutral. And Green, a, a combo forward. You know, he's able to play the three or the four, and he's a good rebounder. I mean... He's got long arms that help him play effectively against bigger guys, even though he's only about 6'7". Feeds it to Hollins. And that one is hammered home. I tell you what, he can do a lot more damage to that rim than that when he wants to. And you know, Clark, with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Me too. Well, I think he did plenty of damage anyway. It was only with one hand, but he threw it down pretty hard. No good from Cousins. And Green certainly not an elite athlete, Steve, but pretty quick on his feet. Well, he's a jack of all trades, and I think he's been a pleasant surprise defensively. Uh, just his awareness and his energy, they really helped him out a lot. He can guard multiple positions for sure. And that's another assist for a team that is putting on the clinic on how to share the ball. I just love the mentality they've had. If a shot isn't there, they're not forcing anything. They're moving it side to side and working to get a good shot. And he gets it to go. 12 points for DeMarcus Cousins. Pistons leading by 16. Here's Augustine. He's got 10. And a follow wide open. He shoots. Again, a follow missing. If he can improve on what's been a shaky day for him thus far, they could stretch this lead out. Detroit's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Now here is Augustine. Pass to Porter. Steps back and fires. 
Out of bounds, Sacramento will take possession. The Kings trail by 16. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones a long time without a basket. They got to find something. You're right. Ennis kicks to Jones from the arc. And there's Ennis on the assist by Jones. Ennis has got his first three points of the game. You might not think of him as a laser three-point shooter, but that shot was there for him, and he had to take it. Cousins again. It's the follow. Six on the shot clock. Here's Hollins. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Pistons. You know, one of the big stories has been the three ball. It's been a key part of their offense throughout the game. And they're getting the ball inside, which is what I like. High percentage shots down on the block and in the paint area. Here's Ennis. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Ennis has got five points now in the quarter. You look at the front line of this Pistons team and how big and active and aggressive they are. It's not a surprise that this Detroit team led the way in offensive rebounds last season. Follow kicks to Augustine. Tries it from the top of the key. And he hits the jumper for two. Augustine's got 12 points in the game. He's been one of their more reliable options today, guys. I mean, his shooting has led them to this lead. Ennis passes to McLemore. Outside, Jones. It's tipped. And stolen by a follow. Here's Augustine. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Pistons were number one in offensive rebounds, as you said, guys. And they would grab almost a third of every missed shot they took on offense. Well, that's a huge amount. And, you know, obviously some of that is their athleticism and ability to get to the rim. A lot of it is their poor shooting as well. There were just a lot more rebounds to be had. Ennis kicks to Cousins. And again, it's Sacramento converted. Boy, what a nice looking shot. DeMarcus Cousins getting it done. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. It's now been eight years since the Kings have played postseason basketball, and the path back to the playoffs, especially in the Western Conference, is not getting any easier anytime soon. And the Kings making a change here. Green's checked in. And Detroit with a change here, too. Brandon Jennings, he's checked in for Augustine. Getting back to the Kings and getting back to the playoffs, Steve, they have some pieces now, they feel. Yeah, I mean, but you need more than just talent. You know, you, you, you need a couple of stars, and you need a full commitment from everybody on the floor. Look, this is a young team. I think they're moving in the right direction, uh, but they've got to continue to grow together. Ennis dishes the Cousins. Terrific assist, a nice finish, solid play all around. So far, going for more of an inside game here in the second half, and I like that. A little smash mouth basketball, taking it inside. Here's Jennings. And as we end the third quarter, a double digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Pistons lead by 12. And after a quick break, we're going to come right back with the start of the fourth quarter. Pistons leading by 12. And on the floor for Detroit here in the fourth. Porter is up there with Monroe. Then there's Jordan Crawford. Then there's Jennings. And it's Hollins in at the three, the five spot. Here's Porter, and fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. It's on DeMarcus Cousins. You 
know, it's a little strange to think of Detroit as being a team that runs, but they actually were better when they did run last year. They made good on a lot of opportunities in transition. David Lee checked in for Jamarcus Cousins. McLemore, no good. Detroit's gotten a positive outcome on seven of their 14 three-pointers in this game. Not bad at all. Outside Jennings. Porter in the corner. Off target from outside. As you said, guys, you think of basketball in the Motor City, you think of a very deliberate game and Steve Tuff D. It had been the identity of basketball in this city for a long time, Kevin. But last year, the Pistons were a top-five team in fast-break scoring. So, you know, when they run, they're at their best. So the city might be entering a new era in terms of the style of play. Rejected by Jennings. Rejected by Jones. And the Kings pushing it up now. Ennis has got the ball. You know, regardless of who starts the break, it seems like he's usually the one to finish it. And that's because of how well he attacks the rim on the dead run. Jennings passes to Monroe. Crawford outside. Shot clock at six. Lee with the steal. And here we go. Fast break. McLemore's got it. He kicks it to Ennis. The feet to McLemore. Jones against Porter. It's good, and the Pistons lead is cut down to just 10 points on the bucket from Lee. Unselfish basketball on the interior. I love that, and you got to think the coaching staff does too. Jennings kicks to Porter. Knocked away. And it's out of bounds to the Pistons as Detroit retains possession. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. The drive by Jennings, and he gets it to go. And that's 10 points for Crawford. For Sacramento, they've gone 2 of 4 from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Lee sets a screen for Ennis. Lee up top. Brandon Jennings comes up with a rebound. And in the paint, they have really shown some strength. Their work on the boards has been phenomenal. Yeah, I'd certainly call it a mismatch, Steve, at least for today. Phenomenal alley-oop slam right there, guys. They're taking advantage, Clark, of a team that looks lost out there. Mm, yeah, this is threatening to get kind of ugly out here. How a timeout called by Sacramento. Sacramento was one of the teams in the West that really struggled against the Eastern Conference, and a lot of it had to do with their turnover. Some changes for Sacramento. Demarcus Cousins, he's checked in for James Jones. Johnson comes in for McLemore, and Walker subbed in for Ennis. Jonas Valanciunas, he's checked in for Detroit. Dunleavy comes in for Porter. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Hey, guys. Well, Tyrone Corbin had some advice for the team in that last huddle. He doesn't think they've been giving it their all, saying they've been quicker to rebound to every loose ball. we got to wake up. The game's slipping away, and we're letting it happen. We have got to take control of this thing. We'll see if he lit a fire under him, guys. Here's Jennings, and he uses the glass on the layup. And the Pistons lead by 15. As you said, I mean, the Kings were one of the few West teams that struggled against the East. 13 wins out of conference, which was second lowest in the West. And they'll keep possession. Walker dishes to lead. And that basket was going to count. Goaltending the official call. He almost got to that shot in time, but not quite. You can't touch the ball once it's on the way down. Outside Jennings. 
The dish to Monroe. And the layup's good off the glass. As you mentioned, it was turnovers that really hurt the Kings against the East. You know, they did some things well and played their game for stretches, but when you turn the ball over like the Kings did, you have to play every other facet of the game perfectly to stand a chance. Timeout called by the Kings. You know, every team in the league loves to have good size in the middle, but it does seem like the league is getting tougher for big men. You know, they help defenses now. Uh, the allowance of zone defenses, you can uh, sort of load up on players. It, it can inhibit a, a big man's ability to attack because you can see double teaming even before he's gotten the ball. Uh, but it's made for great strategy, and I really like the new rules. Cousins. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. Cousins playing well. He's got 16 points and a steal. You know, as tremendous as his stats are, what I've liked most is just the effort he's put into this game. Yeah, it's really been something, Clark. The energy that he's brought. He's worked his tail off at the offensive end and first guy back defensively as well. And as the game has required more movement, Clark, we're seeing big guys try to slim down. And yeah, big men with agility are at a premium, but also it takes a little bit of the stress and strain off the joints. As few as 5 to 10 pounds less can make a big difference, and that's huge for big guys. The Kings trail by 15. Back to Walker. He dishes it to Cousins. Stolen by Monroe. Ball going up court. A follow. No good. Man, that's too bad. It's an easy shot there, and we got to knock that one down. Well, that's a concentration cramp right there. I mean, just lost focus. Johnson, good. Not what they drew up, but they'll take the two points. Outside Jennings. Goes up at the stripe. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. Johnson outside. Walker the pass to Johnson. Here's Cousins. The rebound by Brandon Jennings. Jennings has got four rebounds now tonight. Pass to a follow. A follow right side. Looking to get it going. A follow with another miss. An easy look there, but, you know, he misses those once in a while. It's good, and the person lead is cut down now to just 10 on the basket from Johnson. The defenders need to talk to each other. The communication lacking there on that three-pointer. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. Well, David Lee, a two-time All-Star, over the past five seasons, he's averaged about 19 points and over 10 boards a game. Impressive numbers. Here's what Detroit's going with right now. Porter's checked in for Dunleavy. Jordan Crawford comes in for Aaron Aflalo. And D.J. Augustine subbed in for Brandon Jennings. Monroe's shot is good. And David Lee is so consistently productive, and yet he's had his critics. Well, I think part of it is because people tend to focus on what guys can't do sometimes instead of all the things they do. And David Lee gives you consistent production as a scorer, as a finisher. And he's an underrated pastor as well. And you know what you're going to get from him every time he steps between those lines. Great effort and pretty consistent production. Boy, he threw out some punishment with that two-hand throw down. Well, now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. And it's Walker penetrating. Again, the miss by Walker. Well, an eight-rebound advantage like the one they have now is always going to swing the score hard in that team's direction. And that's certainly been the case today. Their rebounding has made a huge difference. Now Augustine, down to five on the shot clock, from the baseline, 
Monroe, no good. And you know why he was open there. They didn't commit too much defense to him, and you can see why. He has trouble making that shot. Detroit leading by 12. And here's Augustine. It's Crawford on the wing. He feeds it to Valanciunas. Knocked away. It's stolen by Green. And a wide open look for Walker. And the lead is down inside single digits. Well, it took him a long time to get that three-point range. Maybe this will get him going. Augustine up top. Guarded by Walker. In the corner, it's Crawford. And the basket good. Crawford's got five points in the quarter. Walker goes in. In low to Cousins. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. They're locked in from the charity stripe this half. Not a miss yet. And they're going to have to continue that pace, Clark, because they're down. And anytime you're losing, you got to take advantage of every offensive opportunity you have. Sacramento making a switch here. McLemore is checked in. And Augustine kicks to Porter. And the foul on Jonas Valanciunas. That's his fifth foul. You know, guys, the teamwork and rhythm we saw from them earlier just isn't there right now. They've lost it. And the turnovers are starting to pile up. And it's Walker penetrating. And McLemore kicks to Cousins. The pass to McLemore. Walker with a clean look. Gets the three-pointer to fall. You can really see that his confidence is at a high level here in this half. He didn't have a three in the first. Now a timeout called by Detroit. Well, Clark, they can burn some clock if they want to. Yeah, and maybe buy a little oxygen while they're doing it. <laughs> Walker against Augustine. Here's Valanciunas. Whistle blows. If that's going to be a travel. A bit of nervousness in these tightly contested games. I mean, he's been coughing it up a lot here. Well, three turnovers is way too many, Clark. And mental mistakes can be so costly in this game. And Walker kicks to Cousins. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And now it's only a five-point piston lead. I like the way they got the ball inside there. Augustine with it. Banked in off the glass. And the Pistons lead by seven. They're straying away from the three-point game here in the second half. And, um... That's fine as long as they're on the lead and they're getting good shots. They've decided not to take nearly as many three-pointers in this half. The drive by Cousins. No good. Good work defensively by Monroe. One oh four left in the fourth quarter of this one. And Augustine kicks to Porter. Dishes to Monroe. Six on the shot clock. Can't get it to go. And it's the King who's taking it the other way. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. They're trailing by seven. 51 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Johnson, he's checked in for Sacramento. And then for Detroit, Collins has checked in. And it's a flawless in for Jordan Crawford. Walker's shot is off. Guys, you've got to think a basket here would seal. No question about it. That would be all she wrote. And Kemba Walker is going to pick up the foul. That's foul number two for him. Augustine again. Johnson. And now they decide to foul intentionally. 
and he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. And the second of two is good. That stretches their lead to eight. Sacramento's gone beyond the arc seven times here in the fourth and been successful three times. And once again, off the mark by Sacramento. Detroit's gone one of two from three-point range here in the fourth. One second separate in the shot clock and game clock. And Augustine kicks to a flalo. A flalo left side. Stayed with it, but they couldn't get it to fall. And so the Pistons take the win. 